I welcome you to the Shallowford Presbyterian Church. I am glad that you have found us in this online space as we gather here Sunday, January the 9th and celebrate baptism of the Lord Sunday. We're once again joining together virtually, yet I trust God will hold us in this space, guide us as a community, and lead us in the way of faithfulness as we seek to make a difference in this place and in these times. May the Lord be with us. The voice of God resounds upon the water. The Spirit of the Lord hovers over the stream. The Son of God is named Beloved, and all who worship shout out, Glory. Ascribe to the Lord majesty and strength. Let us worship God in holy splendor. Thank <sighs> you. 
On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. Then cleansed be every life from sin, make straight the way for God within, and let us all our hearts prepare for Christ to come and enter. So will you please join me in the prayer for new beginnings? Loving God, we begin this new day in the sure knowledge that you have claimed us as your children. In all that we do, keep us mindful of actions that are pleasing in your sight. In all that we say, make us attentive to the witness we give to your love. Let our lives be an example to all whom we encounter living as daughters and sons of God, who follow in the path of Jesus, our Lord and brother. Glorious God, when Jesus was baptized for your healing mission, the heavens opened in a flash of glory as vision and voice blazed upon the waters. May your spirit so burn in us that we hear your word translated into deed and follow Jesus in paths of justice, right relationship, and peace. Amen. Our first reading this morning is Isaiah 43 verses 1 through 7. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, do you not fear? For I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. The flame shall not consume you, for I am the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Serbia in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east, and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold, bring my sons from far away, and my daughters from the end of the earth. 
everyone who is called by my name, whom I created for my glory, whom I formed and made. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading is from Luke chapter 3, verses 15 through 17 and 21 through 22. As the people were filled with expectation and all were questioning in their hearts concerning John, whether he might be the Messiah, John answered all of them by saying, I baptize you with water but one who is more powerful than I is coming. I am not worthy to untie the thong of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather the wheat into the granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now, when all the people were baptized and with, when Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, the heaven was opened and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved. With you, I am well pleased. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. On this Lord's Day, churches all around the world celebrate baptism of the Lord Sunday. Your confirmation question is, how many sacraments do we have in the Presbyterian Church? And the answer is two. Baptism is one of those. Communion is the other. And so we gather as a community fresh into the new year of our Lord 2022, and we seek to answer an old question in a time of new struggle. In our world of pandemic and political chaos, a world that's struggling to be truth tellers of our past and to squarely face the effects of our action into a turbulent future. Why does baptism matter at all? Surely it's more than bringing our infants to the font and beautifully clothed as they are in what we often call christening outfits. Despite the truth in our tradition that we don't christen at all, to christen is to give a name. Parents do the naming thing at the hospital, properly recorded on the birth certificate. We baptize in our tradition as we baptize children as infants. And we struggle to find real meaning in the midst of this ancient ritual. Our scripture lesson today reminds us that when the gospel writers tell the story of Jesus down by the River Jordan, baptism is crucial to that story. Everything starts at the river where Jesus entered the waters and placed himself into the arms of his cousin John. The heavens were opened up. The spirit descended upon Jesus like a dove and a a voice comes down from heaven and it thunders down saying, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. It was at this moment of baptism that Jesus was claimed and called and God's voice claimed Jesus as nothing less than son, the very voice of God proclaiming pleasure over the child. And so we 
gather on this day to remember our own baptism. The, the challenge is, is actually to remember that you too, like Christ, belong to this one that is special and we are called to do special things. One of the primary reasons that we baptize as infants is to remind ourselves that, that God is with us from birth before we can get any notions about earning God's love. Theologian Paul Tillich says it well. Salvation is, is simply accepting the fact that we have already been accepted. There's a well-told story about an elder in a small congregation. We'll call him Sam. Sam was just a wonderful example of all the things we wish for in a leader. He led with his heart. He was compassionate and kind and wise. And his guidance and commitment was an inspiration to the entire community. And Sam liked to smile when he received any kind of praise and awe and say, now, now, when I was a wee young lad, I was always looking for trouble. And if the trouble was really bad, I'd look for it twice, Sam would say. And then he'd get the twinkle in his eye and he'd say, I, I met Mary, a woman with a big heart that quickly captured mine. A person who loved me no matter how big a scoundrel I was. And little by little, as I so desperately wanted to live into her love, I became less and less a scoundrel. And finally we married and I've spent my whole life trying to make her as joyful as she made me. The truth is, Sam said, Mary loved me into loving. And that's an important lesson for us as we celebrate our baptism. God claims us at baptism and sends this unearned and unconditional love our way. I met Mary, my friend said, who loved me no matter how big a scoundrel I was. And theologically, we call that grace, and nowhere is it more visibly symbolized than at baptism. This is my beloved child, whom this day I choose as my own, not by merit, but by love. God says this to Jesus at the river, and God says this to you and to me. I choose you to possess this divine legacy. I choose to walk with you through the waters and the rivers shall not overwhelm you and to walk with you through the fire and the flames shall not consume you. You are precious and honored in my sight, says God, and I love you. And so fear not, for I choose to be with you in all things, in all times, in all places, in all circumstances, now and forever. I choose to love you whether you are always lovable or not, whether you wander or not, whether you forget or not. We are claimed at birth and we celebrate that claiming at this font of baptism. And, and the journey is to become ever more aware of how deeply God strains to be in relationship with us and loves us. And that awareness leads us into the calling of love as we seek, seek to live faithfully in this community as a part of God's creation. And so on this baptism of our Lord Sunday, Remember your baptism and live into your calling of love. As I went down to the river 
to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me the way. As I went down to the river to pray, studying about that good old way, and who shall wear the starry crown? Good Lord, show me Glorious God, as Jesus prayed at his baptism, your mothering spirit brooded over him, providing sustenance and strength. So brood over us today as we offer our prayers for the church and the world, saying, Mother Spirit, stir us with your power. We pray for your church. May your word spark our lives with truth and joy as we serve one another to the glory of your name. Mothering spirit, stir us with your power. We pray for all leaders and people around the globe. May your justice provoke us to shape a peaceful world where all work for the common good. Mothering spirit, stir us with your power. We pray for all leaders and people around the globe. May your justice provoke us to shape a peaceful world where all work for the common good. Mothering spirit, Stir us with your power. We pray for the well-being of your creation. May your goodness startle us to the horror of our exploitation and abuse. Mothering spirit, stir us with your power. We pray for all who suffer grief or sickness of any kind. May your tender presence abide with us and hasten our healing. Mother Spirit, 
stir us with your power. We pray for all who suffer grief or sickness of any kind. May your tender presence abide with us and hasten our healing. Mother Spirit, stir us with your power. We pray for all who lack the essentials of life. May your righteousness raise us up to walk together with respect and dignity for all. Mother Spirit, stir us with your power. We pray for those who have died, that your steadfast love may shelter them in the peace of your eternal light. Mother Spirit, stir us with your power. O oh God, you have made us, formed us, and called us by name, and you have redeemed us in Christ. Receive our prayers this day, for your life-giving spirit is powerful to save. Amen. O oh God, at his baptism, you acknowledged Jesus as your beloved son, and through him you opened to us a way to become your children by grace. May these gifts we return to you be a sign of our dedication to live as your faithful daughters and sons, born in the waters of baptism by the power of the Holy Spirit. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Amen.
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who stood with the broken on the river bank, uphold you. Amen. May the love of God, who calls us beloved children, bless you. Amen. May the power of the Holy Spirit, who descended upon Jesus as a dove, give you peace. Amen.